Brought to you by Almond Auctions, the worldwide leader in antique tractor auctions. Well, no doubt the WC was one of the most popular Alice Chalmers tractors ever built. This is a 1934 WC, and Cody Hager, you're the one that restored it. Uh, you don't remember these back in the day, do you? No, I sure don't. <laughs> but um, we bought it in December 2001. Uh, engine was stuck. Uh, we got it running shortly after, but uh, sat in the shed for until 2009 when I restored it. What made you want to restore the WC? Um, being that it's 1934, it, uh, it's quite more rare than your newer unstyled or styled WCs. Uh, quite a bit of differences. 1934 was the first year of production with the Alice Chalmers engine in it. So, um, but yeah, there's quite a few differences. Um, for example, the fuel tank, uh, the cap, the filling hole is larger than on a newer tractor. Um, the radiator in the front does not have the Alice Chalmers name embossed in it. Um, transmission cover is different. Um, so yeah, I mean, there was a lot of changes from the first few years to the later years. Now, I know you restored the WC for a 4-H project or an FFA project? Uh, yeah, both actually. Um, first, uh, starting in 2003, I restored uh, a manure spreader, or an Alice manure spreader. Um, the following year was a Alice Chalmers plow, and then I done five Alice tractors, including this one, you know, years after. So, and those were a B and a WD-45, a D-17, a WD, and then this one was the last one. What do you like best about this tractor? Um, you know, it's really simple compared to newer tractors. Um, I like the, this is the correct color for it, and I really actually like the color. Um, and uh, the most probably eye appealing thing on this is the rear tires that are on here. Um, this is a pair of 1935 Firestones on the back. So it's hard to find a pair of tires that old that still hold air and look as good as these do. Classic tractor fever is often a disease that uh, older people have. How does a young guy like you uh, decide that classic tractors are, are kind of cool? Um, I don't know. Dad, he's been collecting stuff for 30, 40 years, and I've always been out helping him, um, whether it be showing him or pulling him or working on him. All aspects of it is fun. I enjoy it. So he's the one that got me into it, and I think I'll stick with it. How is it to drive the WC when you get to drive around the showgrounds or take it in a parade? Uh, what do you like? Um, you know, I gotta get a lot of looks, people looking at it, and it's simple to drive. And it's not the most comfortable thing, but I wouldn't want to drive it all day every day. I don't think, but it's fun for tooling around and cruising around, I guess, a little bit. Do you ever uh, think about that? The history that you're preserving that uh, was really long before you were on the scene. Yeah, I think it's good for people my age or younger to know where their roots came from and the way things used to be and preserve some of that history so it's, you know people in future years will know the way things were done. All right, Classic Tractor Fever is uh, catching on and bridging generations. If you have Classic Tractor Fever, we hope you'll connect with us on social media. Search for Classic Tractor Fever on the web and you'll find photos, updates on new episodes, tractor videos, and more. So find and follow Classic Tractor Fever on Facebook, Instagram, Pinterest, and YouTube.